Debanking is an enormous issue. That's according to senior fellow at the Institute of Economic Affairs, Jamie White. But he says it's largely created by anti-money laundering measures the government requires banks to take. If a customer raises a flag like they might be involved in money laundering, and that can be for a reason as simple as that they deposit cash, the bank faces a choice. Either they can investigate and find out whether the person really is a money launderer, or they can just close the account. White said most bank accounts are not worth very much to a bank, so the cost of the full anti-money laundering investigation can exceed the value of the accounts. And if that's the case, it makes sense for the bank just to close the account. So they don't have evidence that you are a money launderer, it's just that you might be, and they can't really afford, it's not profitable for them, to investigate it. In his recently published report, White found UK banks closed 345,000 accounts in 2021 to 22. Half of these are for benign reasons like dormant accounts or people passing away. The other half, some 170,000, are accounts that did not satisfy the bank's anti-money laundering due diligence. However, over the same period, only 1,083 people were convicted for money laundering. So 170,000 debanks, 1,000 actually convicted of the assumed crime. So that is a terrible ratio, 169 innocent people for every one guilty person. However, the risk for banks is that they will be fined by banking authorities for not following anti-money laundering policy. And it's very important to note, it's not because money laundering actually happened and, and they were you know, convicted of, of being involved in this process. It's just that the authorities deem that their procedures are not rigorous enough and they get fined billions for that. Former UKIP leader Nigel Farage had his bank account closed by Coots last year. This brought massive public attention to debanking. A Financial Conduct Authority inquiry found no accounts were closed because of the customer's political views in the 2021-22 financial year. That's the year with the most recent data available. White's report said shortcomings in the inquiry mean there are some doubts around this, but overall, the finding is broadly correct. He said Farage's case is unique. There's internal records that have been released. They show correspondence between the managers discussing his political positions and saying, we don't want to be associated with a man like this. That's extremely rare. That almost never happens. The main reason, White said, is anti-money laundering policy. He said a 2017 law made the policy far more stringent. And since then, the number of account closures has gone up sevenfold. So simply repeal that. He added the 2017 law addressed no major problems and that repealing it could solve the problem of debanking in a reasonably simple way. Malcolm Hudson, NTD News, London.